So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fifth React Native Calculator tutorial and I guess it's 15th on the playlist and in this tutorial let's just see how we are continuing with the development of our calculator app with React Native. So here we are with our um, tutorial from the last um, video. I don't know what that means but anyways so let's just proceed with what we have been doing so far. So in this video, I, I just want to add support for these plus, minus, and multiplication buttons as well here. And actually, we can see that we do not see the division button. And the reason for that is that because we are omitting that. And, and actually, we can just make it a little bit more dynamic by just replacing this 4 with the, or actually not this one, this 4 with the length of this but it does not really matter because in calculators we have very fixed operations available with us especially in the one which we are coding right now right so here we are with our little division sign back with us so now what we want to do is just say that uh, when it's not d when it's something like say plus so again i just want to add it for now to the screen because we're gonna tokenize all our text later on so it, it should be kind of easy for us so for plus for minus for plus for minus and for multiplication and for division what i want is just add a basic validation that uh, our text is not really blank there's something at least to the left of it right because that's what we really want I don't want a person to start with a plus sign because that does not make sense so what we can do is just say that uh, if um, state this dot state dot text is equal to blank that means the user is directly pressing these buttons which we do not really want so I just want to say um, return just like that and actually this should be the case in um, our case D as well because I don't want the user to go beyond anything it does not really make sense because um, what we are doing essentially here if you take a look inside the console um, you can see that we get a blank element so splitting on a blank element right here you can see it does not really make any sense because it returns us a uh, array of zero length so when we split on that we pop it we get nothing so we get we join it with nothing to get a string back an empty string so yeah it kind of works out itself but we can actually just add this validation right here so if it's not the case then what we want to do and actually just make it short in a single line so that we can just space save two lines whenever necessary there we go so now if that's not the case then what we want to have is just this dot set state as a result text is this dot state dot result text plus our operation right there operation there we are so now if you just see something like this plus this minus this all right looks good now another thing which i want to do is on the button pressed if this thing is a cal is an equal to button so obviously what i want to do is verify um a little bit of results a little bit of you know things right here that uh, um first of all what we can see is let me just say let me just think about it what we can do is uh, just see if text dot uh, um or actually should we just tokenize everything first let me just think here so we can actually ultimately we have to tokenize the text anyway right so um yeah i guess we should tokenize all the text first and then proceed onwards and by tokenizing what i mean is that if our text is something like this so I, I can just convert it into like 
3, then plus, then 3, then star, and then 6, and then power, and all that stuff. And not really like that, it's just like splitting character by character, but obviously like in the order of how it should be tokenized. So yeah, I guess then that's it for this video, I believe. Because in the next video, I'll be just showing you how to tokenize all of this stuff once you press calculator, once you actually press an equal to. And obviously, we can just fix this little bug right here, which just allows us to type a single sign multiple times. So what we can do right here for now is just say if this dot state dot text is blank or this dot state dot text. Um, dot uh, let me see split dot uh, let's see pop equals to or let's just say this is our character right so what I want now is actually test whether this is okay let's just take it this way let me just clear stuff so I'm just gonna get last character last character I'm just doing it so that it's easier for you to see and follow along so this gives us our last character inside this field for example a minus for now and what I want to do if last character dot or actually not like that if operations dot index of last character is not equal to negative one that means that means that last character is in fact an operation so what I want to do is just return because I do not want to have two simultaneous operations right so again what we can do is just and actually um, not like that because the operation could consist of a delete character as well which we want to allow so we can say is greater than zero right so it omits our delete character and actually let me just move it um, actually let's just change this to a class property instead so this dot operations there we go and I'm just gonna say this dot operations just like that and move it into our constructor just like that alright so here we are now what I want to do is actually I have already done that so let's just hit save and see if we can see anything okay we get a split of of uh, undefined because it's not text it's actually result text hit save reload plus operations was not defined because this is this dot operations that's well that's embarrassing anyway so let's just save it reload um plus minus does not work very well divide yep does not work and if I hit delete it works perfectly fine so there we are with a little bit of more validation so yeah I guess that's all for this video now and I'll see you then in the next video let's just tokenize some stuff here